Well, hello everyone, and welcome to another day of Mystery March 2020. So, our look at Veronica Mars Season 1 continues on with Lord of the Bling. So, let's take a look at it. A man, Percy Bone Hamilton, is relaxing by his pool. Soon, his son Bryce approaches and says that Yolanda, Bryce's sister Bones' daughter, has disappeared. Later, Bone enters Mars Investigations and looks for Keith. Well, says Veronica that Bone is a criminal and gangster rap record company owner. Veronica says that she used to be friends with Yolanda. Keith eventually decides to take up the case, and Bone has a list of people to whom Keith should talk because of rifts between Bone and them. Later, Veronica offers to gather information about Yolanda, which Keith accepts. In a flashback, Veronica helps Yolanda find her English class. Keith visits the first person of Bone's list, Sam Bloom. Veronica talks to Yolanda's friend Gabriel, and she finds out that the two were at a club the, the night of her disappearance. <clears throat> Keith goes to investigate Marcel, the club bouncer, who was one of the enemies on Bone's list. Veronica is eventually allowed to come on the condition that she stays in the car. Keith talks to Marcel, who recommends that he talks to Dimebag, number two on the enemies list. However, they don't find Dimebag there. Keith sneaks his way into Dimebag's apartment in disguise as a mechanic while Veronica waits outside. While Keith is in the room, Dimebag and his posse appear, and Veronica pretends to be a hotel worker. Keith bugs the suspects' rooms, and they begin to hear their conversation. Meanwhile, Logan and Aaron get ready for Lynn's funeral and have a fight in front of the paparazzi. Veronica visits Yolanda's younger brother, who, think who thinks that she has been kidnapped, not simply disappeared. In another flashback, Veronica sees Yolanda kissing Logan and tells Lily about it. Lily says that they must stop being friends with her. Bone calls Dimebag, and he says that he knows where Yolanda is. However, it is later revealed through a hidden camera that they are not hiding Yolanda. Veronica and Wallace find out that Sam Bloom has a son, Benjamin, who was with Yolanda at the club the night of her disappearance. When Logan sits in his room and plays video games during Lynn's funeral, Duncan talks to him, and Logan expresses his belief that his mother is not dead, but simply escaped. Veronica calls Benjamin's roommate under a guise, and he says that Benjamin left alone for Las Vegas, which means that Sam was lying about his whereabouts. In another flashback, Veronica abandons Yolanda for Lily. Bone comes to Keith with a ransom note for $500,000. However, the drop location is already specified and the area is under heavy surveillance. Bone believes that Dimebag is a kidnapper. During the drop, Bone places his wedding ring outside inside of a plastic football and shoves it down the drain per the kidnapper's orders. However, it turns out that Yolanda's brother was behind the whole scheme and intercepts the plastic football at the beach. It turns out that Bryce actually planned the whole scheme and that the entire plot was to stop Yolanda from running away. Keith, Veronica, and Bryce talk to Bone and his wife. Three get Yolanda up on a Skype-like camera. She says that she has run off to marry Benjamin Bloom. Yolanda says that she won't come back until Bone's feud with Sam Bloom is over. Later, Veronica calls Yolanda again and apologizes to her for leaving her, and she accepts. Oh, that was kind of nice. So let's, look at some, <clears throat> so let's look at some cultural references here. A variety of cultural references are made in the episode. Bone compares his two children to Velvet Brown from National Velvet and Steve Urkel. Logan Eccles left her suicide note on a Blackberry. Logan uses the V sign when talking to his father. Logan uses the phrase, My father thanks you. My mother thanks you. I thank you. A reference to a statement popularized by George M. Cohan. Logan also mentions ICM ciphers. ICM Partners, a talent and literary agency. The video game that Logan plays at his mother's funeral is Fable. Now let's take a look at some arc significance in this episode. It was Yolanda Hamilton who kissed Logan, leading to Lily and Logan's breakup before Lily's murder. Logan asked Veronica for help in finding his mother. Now on to the music. The following music can be heard in the episode. The Bomb by The Far Side, The Girl Who Wouldn't Die by Sar, Saturday Night by Ozomotli, and Hey Ma by Cameron. And now, finally, the production. Although credited, 
Eli Weevil Navarro, portrayed by Francis Capra, does not appear in Lord of the Bling. <clears throat> this episode also features the return of recurring character Lily Kane, who appears in flashbacks in the episode after being absent since The Girl Next Door. The episode's title is a reference to The Lord of the Rings and Bling Bling, a slang term for jewelry and hip-hop culture. As a joke, the first words spoken before the opening credits in Lord of the Bling are, We used to be friends a long time ago. Spoken by Veronica when Wallace asks her about Yolanda. These are the first words heard in the series theme song, We Used to Be Friends, by the Dandy Warhols. Hmm. So, Ronald, this is a pretty interesting episode, and finding out that Yolanda was the one kissing Logan and stuff like that, yeah, that was kind of interesting, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So, overall, I give Lord of the Bling four marshmallows out of five. I'll tune in a bit as we take a look at Mars vs. Mars. So, until then, remember everyone, the game's afoot.